Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for Wii U. This is episode 7. Last time we got to kill some Kelby, pick up some Kelby horns. We also... what else we do? Didn't do mushrooms, that was our first quest. Oh, we killed some Jagia. It doesn't look like anybody wants to talk to us right now, so let's go ahead and do a quick deposit. And I didn't really do anything too much in that last quest to just harvest stuff, so let's go to the farm to pick up our last days of Blue Mushroom. And I think what I'm going to have him do next is harvest or cultivate some herbs. We need a few. So let's go ahead and talk to our guild sweetheart. Do our next quest. Uh, let's actually go ahead and do this one. I'll have to admit, I am kind of trying not to do those other ones because I don't really want to. But eventually you need to. One thing that I forgot to mention about the rations is they're basically like well done steaks. They increase your stamina. Let's go ahead and take this shortcut. And dive down to this opening down here and it will take you to area 9 I believe. Watch out for the felines because they like to steal your stuff. Looks like there are some Benhabras or whatever they're called out here. We want a big fish. By the way, you actually can make a weapon out of some big fish. I'm actually going to try and catch one real quick. That really big one. Oh, I missed him. No way. Oh, that's annoying. Maybe we can catch him again. All he's got to do is turn. You really just got to keep your eye on the uh, lure. Oh, man. I am not doing good. Pop fish, pretty good. A wet fish. It's kind of like a whetstone, but a fish. purposely pulled it in because I wanted to try and get this giant tuna or whatever it is. 
Come on, buddy. I don't know why I tried that. I just don't even think you press the button. That big guy's just having a hard time turning. Sushi fist. Isn't that a little bit of a redundancy? So close with that tuna. There's one. The reason why that uh, we haven't caught a golden fish is because you actually do need to use a golden fish for I believe. Looks like this one could be a lucky one. There's a redundant fish. Looks like we might be able to get that big fish now. If he turns fast enough. Oh, they're all going for it. Oh, well, we got two big fish now. I'll catch one of them. Oh, close. Oh.
There we go. Let's go ahead and try this golden fish bait. Once you use the golden fish bait, a lot of golden fish appear. As far as I remember, they don't disappear when you throw your other bait out. Nope, they don't. Or, yes, they do. Let's try a worm, actually. I think that's a golden fish. Yes, it was a golden fish. We just need to catch one more. I'm sorry, as some of you are probably thinking that this is the most boring video you have ever seen. Let's see if we can gather up a sneaky or a um, golden fish bait. We get frogs. And then another frog. Poor worm. Come on, just one more frog. There we go. Oh, I thought frogs were counters. Guess not. Let's go ahead and try to catch that last golden fish. I think what we can do is... Let's actually go ahead and try to scare some away because none of those are golden fish, so let's scare them away by, and then I do believe just by casting out a normal line, more fish will appear. Maybe if we use a worm. Let's 
go ahead and scare them away. Just because I want to want to hurry up, hurry this up, finish this. So we can get to another quest where there's a little bit more fighting. In fact, let's get to a quest where it's a lot more fighting. It's going to be close, but I think the silverfish is going to get there first. And it did. Getting another one of those giant tunas really isn't a bad thing. Then I think we can just sell it. Come on, big guy. They actually, the fish, from what I've seen, actually. Most commonly, actually bite your line or your lure on the third. So we might be getting a big one again. Yep. This didn't take me four tries that time. I'm gonna actually try and just get a golden fish now. The the only annoying thing about getting a good fish like that and then getting some other fish is that unless you complete the quest, you don't get to keep it. Let's just try to do a normal cast. There's our golden fish. I was actually going to say something about if I don't get it anytime soon, I'll probably just end this video and start a new one. So what I did there was I just, I wanted to get the golden fish. So I just canceled that cast. golden fish right here. Oh, are you kidding me? Keep turning, golden fish. Keep turning.
There we go. Finally caught our third golden fish. Let's go ahead and hurry back home. I'm sorry that took so long, guys, but for you Monster Hunter lovers, I'm sure you won't find that too long. I'm sure you know what it's like to have an item that you can't lose just because of how rare or how good it is. You want to do almost anything to make sure you keep it in your inventory at the end of the quest. Like a rush shard. And sorry that I forgot to uh, bring some more golden fish bait. But... Anytime that it, they say something like, looks like it could be used for something, is pretty good indication that it's somewhat useful. So let's go back over here, do a quick deposit. This is going to end before I even get out of the bed. It's the only thing that I try to do occasionally. Just for fun. Alright. Well, I think I should probably end this video here. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, episode number, um, I think it was 7, or 6, either way. But, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, see you later.